Good morning and welcome to Doha, Qatar. Hey, I'm going to be staying in one of the most expensive hotels in Doha, but not the Raffles, but the family. Let's go, I got my card ready. Let's go and explore the Fairmont Hotel inside. Let's do this. Are you ready for this? Let's do this. There you go. As you walk into the corridor, and as you can see, it's beautiful, beautiful. It's all gold. I don't think it's a real gold, but to be honest with you, it's all gold. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is the main hallway, so it goes around uh, and round. So this is everything. My room is 11:08. That's the my, that's my room. 11:08. I'll take you there before that. I will show you a quick uh, round there. So let me let's what what's in there. Look at this. Wow, that's pretty scary, but. Scary. I think the major talking point about this hotel is this uh, chandeliers. I don't know whether it's a chandeliers, but it's a lighting. So beautiful, very beautiful. So I'm gonna just quickly show you uh, this around, and this is where you enter my room. Basically, pretty much opens up the entire room, blinds, lights, and the curtains that you can have. Beautiful. Welcome back to my room in Doha Hotel, Family Hotel. Not only this is one insane room, this also got a beautiful, beautiful view up there. And also, as soon as you get up from the bed, you have another beautiful view here. And also, if you want to have a shower and enjoy the view. There you go, you have it. So I'm going to show you guys everything from this hotel room and also we're going to do the hotel review while we will show you pool area, gym area and everything else comes with it. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the like button and leave a comment if you have stayed in this hotel or any other experience that you had in Doha, Qatar. Let's get started. Let me have a grab a bottle of water from here. I'm so thirsty. As you can see, I'm here. so amazing and the pillow is kind of feather uh, pillows and I think this is the leather yeah I think it's the leather it comes with two side holes on the side and it's so beautiful to be honest with you oh this is again gold when it comes to Dubai Qatar uh, they love gold colors because of it and also how nice of them to have a beautiful flower a bucket on the bed. Look at that. Uh, it's unfortunate. Maybe is it artificial? I'm not too sure whether it's artificial. It looks real to me. Looks, yeah, it is real. But unfortunately, there's no water on that, so we can put it in there. But it's so beautiful. And also, they they kept a nice card with the name on it. Yeah. Beautiful. That is so cool. So cool. Uh, we requested a, a nice soft pillow. I think they have given us a nice and soft pillow. You can see, you can see, look, it's just, you can squeeze it, basically. It's very nice. And I love this um, lamp on the both side. It gives you a kind of a same shape of this hotel base. I think you can fit about three people in this bed, to be honest with you. So cool. 
and let's go and explore the rest of the place and there's a there's kind of a table that you can sit and when you come down here you have a sitting place I'll show you outside in a bit and there we are this this place where you can just sit your lap put, put your laptop there and do a little bit of work in there and go and check what's in here this is um, this, this lamp is nice as well and we have a standard telephone a notepad and the remote control for the TV let's see what's in here and this is sockets there where you can charge you have a USB USB port and the CC port as well as well uh, UK plug points and the yeah, other country plug points there as well very good what's, what's in there there's nothing in there it's empty and they keep uh, books uh, where you want to read uh, while you're sleeping it's a pretty cool one look at this this is a super solid uh, wood and there's the lights there so this side they have Again, the same lighting. They have a kind of a light uh, iPad. It's not exactly an iPad, but this is um, uh, like a, a digital frame. And they have a clock there. That's my camera up here. And again, same thing. Uh, you have a plug points over there and two uh, books. Pretty cool. And I like it. And in this side, when you come down here, you have your beautiful table where you can sit and do your work very very spacious very very spacious and this is the television here this is the television here let me show you guys the view from the bed this is the bed so i'm just walking straight down from the bed and then and voila this is the view that you can see yeah just from the bed itself so so beautiful like a gulf ocean i guess if i'm not mistaken You can see the entire Doha on this side and this side is I think that's that side is uh, Raffles and this is where the pool is uh, we're gonna be going later on today to the pool and um, let me take you guys to the other side of the uh, we've I'll take I, I, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna get you the balcony in a minute so So this is on this side. Uh, I quite like this place. I quite like this place. It's very, very nice. Bit expensive, bit pricey, but I think it is worth the money. Again, Doha. When you come to Doha, it's always expensive. It's always expensive. Doha is very, very expensive. So let's let's check out the rest of the place. Uh, this is one of the things that I've. Um, this is one of the things that I've not seen anywhere. Uh, to be honest with you, this is uh, a coffee machine. A normal coffee machine that you find in different um, shops, or maybe, maybe yeah, or in the office. I think we got one of them, one of them in the office. Uh, so if you want a coffee, you just press the button on it, and uh, see if it works. I'm gonna press it on, and there's mugs over here. Take the mugs. It's already washed, it, by the way. I want to just test it, see if it works. Okay. Um, it's on. It's, oh, it's just rinsing. Basically, it's cleaning before you pour the coffee or tea or whatever that you want to uh, drink early in the morning. I've already had my breakfast, so I'm not really. I'm just just testing this for the camera, for the video. So it says fine. It's going to take a little while, please, to be honest with you. So again, I really, really like this place. Doha itself is a very good place to be uh, to visit. Uh, we are going to be in this hotel for about five to six days. Um, next door is Raffles. Raffle, oh, maybe I will try and stay in Raffles one day to just get an experience. I'm not too sure, but fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Uh, so, um, um, as I said, I'm going to be here for um, kind of a lot of places in Doha. So, if you guys want to see any places, specifically uh, areas, or shopping complex, or uh, marketplaces. Just leave a comment and with your name and the location that you're watching the video from and also uh, tell me the uh, places that you want to watch or you want to see so i can record that for you but let's see if you can get the coffee let's start now uh, it's getting seven i don't want
Luke, yes. So yeah, I'm gonna have a coffee and milk. Let's see what happens. Doesn't look like it's gonna give me it. It's just pouring in the hot water. <laughs> Maybe you have to fill coffee somewhere. I can't see anything. Uh, yeah. No, I can't see anything. It's just the warm hot water. But there's a, 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 a barcode there where you scan it, it'll tell you how to operate it. So I don't want to do coffee, I just had a breakfast. So I just definitely, it's, it's not working, that's fine. Let's see what's in there. Okay, here also like old fashioned. Let me stop this. Old fashioned kettle here as well. And they give you quite a lot of water because you need the water in this hot weather. You have to be always dehydrate yourself it's so hot hot in here and then what's in here? let's have a look what's in there this is a uh, fridge there's nothing in there and this is something i think this looks like a generator yeah that's that's the uh, basically a room i'm going to show you a quick so this is the room so beautiful i really like it uh it's highly recommended for anybody who's visiting doha and also the customer service here is so good, so good. So let's get into the uh, bathroom. This is the bathroom. As you can see, I told you this is this is a bathtub here where you can have a um, quick uh, hot bath, bubble bath, and you have some systems in there where you can just increase the hot weather or you got bubbles and things like that and enjoy the beautiful gulf water here and that's that's the shape of the hotel there uh, we'll be walking there and we're gonna i'm gonna do a video on that marina bay as well it's just beautiful in the afternoon it's full of people they are jogging and kids playing it's a very interesting place very very interesting place so let's do the rest of the thing there two towels yes they've got like nail kit shaving kit dental kit and shower cap, standard uh, standard items, with, and you got towel there, and the three towels, and the soap, and a, a body lotion also. Oh, what brand is that? This Frost 31 body lotion, and nice um, tissue container. You got they give you two, and the main bit of this uh, place is as soon as you open this. Guess what happens? Electronic, electronic. It opens up, all you have to do is do your business, and then voila, it automatically closes it. It's also quite, it looks like an apartment to be honest with you. <laughs> it doesn't look like a hotel room, it's not small, it's not small at all, it's huge, it's big. It's worth the money, it's expensive, but it's worth the money. Let's close this one up and then let's go and have a look at the shower. Shower is again is so big. So you have you have like a uh, shower gel, conditioner and shampoo. And two standard shower. This one is like a rain shower and this one is normal one. And you have a hot water. I don't know whether this can be like a, can enjoy your shower with the uh, balcony view, but I doubt it. And um, yeah, people, you can fit in here. Oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, four people, maybe, maybe twelve maximum. People can easily fit in here. It's not that I want to put twelve people in there and shower together, but I'm just saying. Easily for you guys to get a kind of a, a view of big the room, uh, the bathroom is to be honest with you. So good and very, very spacious. Very, very spacious. Okay, there's one more thing to show, which is this one here. I think it looks like it's a walk in closet. Let's open it up as you can see. Oh, you can see it's a walk in closet. As you can, we walk inside, you can put all your clothes up there to hang. And it's another set of clothes that you can put up to hang. 
and there's big space to put all your luggages in there. It's our luggage is already there, and there's another table here where you can put uh, your small bag and open it, or maybe to iron things like that. And you have here what's that? This is a um, hair dryer, and this is for people to pray. That's all now, yes. In there you have the safe. What's in there? Not too sure what that is. So yeah, quite decent. Very big, very big, and so beautiful, like a wooden wooden frame design. I would say anybody who is visiting Doha, this place is a highly recommended place for you to stay uh, because of the customer service. Not, not just the hotel itself, but the customer service here is also very, very good. Very good customer service. If, you, if it is just the hotel, then it's, it's like boring. But the customer service here, you ask for anything, you get it immediately. So, yeah, that's it. So let's go outside. I'm going to quickly take you outside. Show you the balcony. Balcony is quite big as well, as you can see, you can put there's two chairs on the table now it's very very hot so I don't want to stay out here that's it look at it this is a beautiful view that's 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 where you walk down there to get the metro metro is somewhere over there and that's that's a mosque over there as well that's a mosque over there so I'm gonna explore all these places today so I'll be I'll be I'll be in I'll be in Doha for another four four days and I'll be exploring a lot more places in Doha. So again, if you guys want to see any other places, just uh, hit that subscribe button. That's very important. Hit that subscribe button uh, and uh, and uh, leave a comment with your name and the location you are watching the video from. And uh, tell me about what are the things that you want to see in Doha. And also, I'm going to Sri Lanka. So if you want to see any places in Sri Lanka. Uh, possibility in volumes as well so if you guys want to see any places in those areas just leave a comment with your name and location and don't forget to hit that subscribe button that's that's, that's something really, really helpful uh, to uh, encourage or motivate me to do a bit more videos for you guys and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and um, see you on my next video bye bye called Marina Gates, the private yacht. I don't know which one is mine, to be honest with you, it's all like, it's all private yacht all over there. Must be very, very expensive. Where are you from, boss? Where are you from? Ghana, Ghana. Ghana, okay. I met a lot of Kenyan people though. I come and sit here and just relax a little bit, and enjoy the beautiful 